Hey everyone, it's Lauren. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for tuning in to this video. Today I wanted to share with you guys how I take my Bible notes when I'm reading my Bible. This can be for a beginner that is just getting into reading the Bible and wants to know how to take notes. There's no really proper way to take them. It's just personal preference. There are a variety of ways to take Bible notes. This is just my personal preference on how to take them. So if you want to learn more, then just keep watching. Before I get into the how I take my notes, I would just like to say I'm taking a Bible class this semester at college and it's the Old Testament survey so I'm learning about the Old Testament because I'm minoring in biblical studies and it is just so interesting and fun to learn about like the Bible when you go into the history of the Bible and you really learn about like where some of the books were found and just I don't even know just everything about it is so interesting I'm just so excited to be minoring in biblical studies so I can get an education on it and then I can share it with you guys and I can make more faith-based videos. Enough about that ramble, let's get on to how I take my notes. If you guys watched how I read my Bible video, I got a few questions on there of like what Bible version I use and all that. I currently use the NIV, so the New International Version. I've heard some mixed opinions on the New International Version. Some say it's very inaccurate, but I've personally thought it was fine. I'll probably read more versions later on, just so I can- Fayette, what the heck? There are tons of different translations of the Bible. Later, I will probably read more versions just to get the whole idea. What's the difference between all of the versions? But for now, I'm reading the New International Version. So the first step I do is obviously I pick a chapter or a book to read in the Bible. I have been reading the Gospels, so Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and that's kind of the four books I've been sticking to recently just because I'm trying to finish those, but sometimes I jump around to like Proverbs, Isaiah, whatever. So the first step you want to do is obviously pick what book you want to read in, and that can be your focus for that day. And once I've found the book I want to focus on, I will go in and just read it thoroughly and then underline or highlight any verses that stand out to me. And sometimes I even put like notes to the side, like, oh, what did I get from this? Ooh, that's important. I should remember that. I just write it down on the side. My Bible doesn't have the little corners. You know how some Bibles have the little columns on the side where you can take notes? My Bible doesn't have that. So for for example, this page, I just have a bunch of notes up to the side. I don't make it look pretty when I'm writing my Bible. When I'm reading, I just really try to absorb everything and understand everything that I'm reading. And then once I'm done in the actual Bible, I will go into like a notebook or somewhere and do pretty drawings and calligraphy, but I don't like, I know some people I've seen like watercolor their Bible pages and like do calligraphy and one, my Bible just doesn't have the room. Like I said, I'll go into a notebook later if I want to and do a pretty drawing or illustration of what I read. But when I'm actually in the Bible, I just don't really care how it looks. I'm more focused on what I'm reading and if I'm really understanding it, so. So this kind of goes along with what I just said, but third thing I do after I'm done reading in the book and I will just take a notebook and that's when I will just write down important verses that I want to remember later on or if I want to and if I'm feeling it that day I will do pretty drawings or calligraphy and it's just fun to look back on when I need to remember a verse I can go in my notebook and then I have a pretty drawing to go along with it just whatever your style is you don't have to do a whole drawing so the next step I do is I think it's a really important step. I will write down any questions that I have when I'm reading. I think this is so important to do. I feel like a lot of times I would usually just read something and I'd be like, I don't really understand that, but oh well, and just move on. But now I've made it a point to write down the question that I have when I am reading it. So when I go back and I look over my notes, I can either one, look it up on the internet and just do more research on it, or two, I can ask like my pastor or my religion professor about it so they can give me another under or some more understanding on it. Or three, I might learn about it later and answer my own question. I just think it's really important to write down those questions so you can have a better understanding about what you're reading instead of just looking past it and never really understanding the true meaning of it. Another question I get quite often is, Lauren, 
where the heck do I, where can I start when I'm reading the Bible? And that's a very relevant question to ask because the Bible is a very, can be a very overwhelming thing. There's so many books and so many different meanings to the books. It's just very confusing sometimes on where to start. And the truth is you can just start literally wherever you want. You can start in Genesis when the world was created by God and God led these different men throughout their lives. Or you can start in the gospels when Jesus was born and he had his time on earth and he was crucified. The whole story of Jesus, you can literally start wherever. And then, you know, you can jump around in different books. It really just doesn't matter as long as you're really understanding the meaning of what you're reading. And like I said, if you have any questions, write them down. You can ask a mentor, a pastor, or you can look them up yourself and just do more research. And the really cool thing about the Bible is that it never changes, but your perspective changes. So you can read one verse at one time in your life and it can mean one thing. And then you can read it in a whole different other time in your life and it can mean a whole totally different thing and I think that's so cool because I've definitely had those moments where I read something or I took notes on something and then I went back and I read it in another season of my life and I was like whoa that means like a totally different thing to me now and like I said at the beginning of this video I'm so excited that I'm minoring in biblical studies so I can get an education on the Bible and I can also share more cool things with you guys I just love talking about the Bible and I'm definitely gonna be making more faith videos in the future so that is about it. I just wanted to make a quick little thing to help lead you guys into reading your Bible and getting a new understanding of it. If you like this video and you found it helpful, give it a big thumbs up. It helps me out. Comment down below and tell me how you take your Bible notes. If you kind of take them similar to me or in a totally different way. And also make sure you subscribe so you never miss another video like this one along with tons of other fun videos, makeup videos, college videos, whatever you name it. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!